You're watching IMSC TV. Your future success starts right here. Hey there, this is Sean Donahoe and welcome to another edition of IMSC TV. Now, we've got some really cool stuff going on as we always do. What am I saying? We do this every single week. We've always got cool stuff going on. But today is really cool because we're coming out of the first week of our new product launch, which is Commission Commando. If you haven't checked that out, have a look below. Uh, there's a link to it. It's an incredible course. And as you can tell, I'm losing my voice just a little bit because I've been doing so many videos. And then, hey, my kids back at school brought back home just on launch day a really nice cough and cold. And uh, I got a little bit of it. I'm just, just about over it now. But on launch day, I tell you what, you could not have got me out of bed with a crowbar and a hammer. I was absolutely dog ill. And still, we got through the launch. Everything's been going fine. Just lost my th voice just a little bit. And uh, funnily enough, I'm speaking this weekend in San Francisco. So if you guys are at the uh, Austin Walsh event, which is at the Hy Hyatt Regency at the airport, then uh, I'll be there. I'll be happy to see any one of you there and uh, we'll have some fun. Hit me up, let me know when you're there and I'll be absolutely, it'd be great to see each and every one of you who is at that event. So yes, a lot going on. Hopefully the voice will be better by the time the weekend rolls around. Uh, we could doing it Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I'll be out of there late Sunday night. So there you go. Anyway, this week, uh, you know, I was kind of diving between two different subjects. And one of the things we cover a lot in a lot of our courses is working with RSS. Now, the reason I love working with RSS is that you can use RSS for many different purposes. And RSS stands for Real Simple Syndication. And when you think about it, one of the, you know, backlinking is basically a form of syndication of your content. You're syndicating out links that link back to what you have going on. And I love working with RSS because basically it's a simple list of a link, a title, and a description. And if you use those the right way, you can get backlinks, you can get uh, content. I mean, I use RSS feeds for content all the time. But you can also get your stuff indexed and found, get more traffic. There's so many things you can do with this. So what I'm gonna do today is show you a couple of really cool techniques that you can use with RSS to help get your content indexed and found by the search engines and by your users. So let's have a look. Okay, what we're going to do in this week's IMSE TV is show you how to do a little bit of magic with Yahoo Pipes. Now, um, you can go to pipes.yahoo.com if you have a Yahoo account. Um, you can just log straight in, otherwise go create one. And it's great fun because what you can do is a real lot with a lot of your RSS feeds. I'm going to show you how to mash all of your RSS feeds together so you can submit them at once and get links and get everything indexed. For example, let's go to create a pipe. And this is kind of like programming without programming. And there's a lot you can do with this. I mean, we're just going to scratch the surface with what we can do. So let's go fetch a site feed. Actually, let's fetch this. We'll go fetch feed because we already have the URL. So I've got a YouTube URL right here. This is my RSS feed for my uh, YouTube channel. And I'm going to put that in there. I'm also going to click on add URL. So you click on the little plus button, you get another little drop down box. And I'm going to grab my feed from I am success center. And you can do this from Twitter as well. In fact, let me do it to my Twitter one. Now let's see actually, um, Twitter feed. Let me see. I'm trying to remember how to do this. Actually, I have to look this up because they, they hid it. I just want to make sure I get this right. So this is what I need. And I remember I looked this up the other day. So let me show you this in a URL. So it's api.twitter.com.1 status user timeline, yada, yada, yada. You can see it there. I'll zoom in for you. And then I'll just put in my 
username right there and I'll get that feed as well and uh, we'll add that as another one so we'll combine all of that but here's one thing I don't want I don't want the same URL it might have the same title but I don't want the same URL so we need to add a filter to do that come to operators and filter drag that across and this is why it's called pipes because you drag these pipes from one block to another and basically it starts the flow so I'm grabbing all of the information from that I'm passing it into a filter and I want the output in fact I've got the wrong one I need unique not filter you can filter bad words and, and words you don't want but what I want is unique items I only want unique URLs so I can then say I want to filter based on the items link and then I pipe that to my output now what this does it gives me a completely freed up uniqified setup now here's the cool thing you might have hundreds of RSS feeds and they might be updated you know like two or three per feed per day well that can get to be quite a long um, setup so you might also want to add a sort and we could uh, say sort and then we'll pump this into the output here pump this over here so you can see now we're doing a chain of things right here in fact if we make it a little more easier we can say sort by uh, let's say publish date descending so we get the newest first and then we can refresh you can get a little preview down here and you can see a little preview and I'll, I'll kind of sh uh, bring this up a little bit you can see all this kind of stuff right here and that's all very well and cool so now I can also throw in my Facebook and I might have hundreds of links well here's the thing if you have hundreds of RSS feeds you might also want to create multiple whoops get the right one you might need to create multiple setups like this where you have because you can only have so many per block if you run out of more than 10 you can do a thing you could you could add multiple ones of these and then funnel them into what's called a union now what that means is it has five inputs like this and then we can funnel that one there and that one to here and you can see this acts as a funnel for all of these items so i can just keep on funneling them down now I'm not going to go too much more complex with pipes because I could sp I could spend an hour on pipes alone but this is a great way to filter and basically take and combine all of your feeds into one feed so I'm going to get rid of those for now and I'll get rid of that and like I say if you wanted to add a filter well, let's throw a filter in here anyway now not that I'll ever uh, need this particular one but we'll show it as an example say that i wanted to make sure there was no and i want to make sure they follow any of block any of these where the title contains the word oh, i don't know viagra now if i did a blog post about viagra that's going to be a very unusual blog post but you get the idea you can block any words you don't want and stuff like that and get a really good setup at the end so all very well and cool you are ready to rock and roll so you can get once you've done this give it a name say for example RSS mash and click OK and then save that once you're done now what you do now is once it's saved and everything's running we can run this pipe and get a RSS feed that is a combination feed now we can get it in many formats and this is the really cool thing because there's all sorts of other cool things you can do now, I'm just waiting for this to save okay so now it's saved and now we can click on run pipe and this will go and run and execute all of this and you see it's even this is the cool thing it's even showing you me a preview of my videos so I got some of my older videos here and stuff like that and it literally will just zoom in and play but we can get this as um, as you see here or we can get an RSS feed and that's what I want so you get all this in fact you can see that we've got some all stuff date ordered here a lot of stuff from my Twitter feed in fact 
one thing I might want to do is take off this Sean Donahoe at the beginning. And to do that, we actually need to grab what's called a loop. Now, this allows you to drag a module in here. So what we're going to do is let's let's tidy this up just a little bit because I want to get this uh, done. And what we can do is drag this here, hook this in to the bottom here. I'm just going to try and keep this all on one screen. And then we need to come down here a little bit to come to a string operator and it's called string replace. And you drop that, see it drops right into that and it highlights. So for each item title, as you see here, we want to replace every Sean Donahoe colon with, and then leave it empty. And then we want to assign the results to back to the title. And then it loops through here and does its thing. Now, it takes a second to refresh, but you see now that stripped all of that off at the beginning. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want. So again, I'll just save this. It takes just a few moments. Did it rerun it over here? I think it rerun it over here. And it won't refresh here immediately. It takes a little while. I just want to make sure, but yeah, it'll take a little while to refresh, but now we can grab this and then we could submit it to the, you know, to the RSS directories. If you have RSS submission software, you can actually ping it. Uh, one of the sites I use, for example, pingler.com, and that will allow me to submit my RSS right here. And then I'll just say RSS mash or something like that. And then that will help get all of my stuff pinged. So, VED, I hate these captures, I am terrible with captures. 3N, and we'll go ahead and ping that. That'll get everything um, taken care of. It's initializing the pings, and we've got to wait. Now we're in position 15, that's fine, we'll leave that running. Another thing I like to do is this little one over here. This is tools.950by.com, and they have a little online RSS submitter. Basically, what you do is take your RSS feed, call it RSS mash just for fun of it there may be a main website so I'll put in my main website and then an email and description you can uh, put that I'd put that to one that you don't want well that you might get spammed to uh, like Gmail or throwaway account with a little bit of a description and then submit and it'll blast all of these RSS directories with your feed and it's a great way to get your stuff indexed and a little bit of traffic and a little bit of exposure all very well and cool. You can even social bookmark your RSS feeds and get stuff indexed really quickly. Hey, it's great fun. So there you go, guys. A little trick for you with RSS. So there you go. Some really simple, really simple syndication techniques that you could apply with your business and help get your stuff indexed, get it found and get it out there. Combine it with Yahoo Pipes. Hey, that's some great stuff right there, guys. And uh, you can do this with your social media profiles, you know, Twitter, Facebook, what other ever site you've got going on. Bring all your blogs into one RSS feed and just keep on pushing it out there. Works incredibly well and certainly something you should do with all of your RSS feeds. Now, um, we've put links below to the resources we discussed in this uh, below this video. And if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you can go across to imsuccesscenter.com forward slash IMSC TV. You can always get the latest episode there, plus all the resources that we mention, and uh, hey, some cool freebies as well. So make sure you go check out the website if you are watching this on someone else's website or watching this on YouTube. And if you're watching this on IMSC TV, the main site, hey, you're in the right place. Those links, as I say, are below me right there. And again, I'm going to put a shameless plug in there. If you have not got your hands, on Commission Commando. The link is below me right there. Go check out that video. It'll blow you away. It's actually, uh, it contains my true story of how I got started and where I came from. And uh, I think that will shock you if you haven't seen that yet. Very good video and uh, certainly something you should check out. So anyway, with that being said, guys, I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, I'm gonna get, actually, I'm recording this as of Thursday. So I've gotta go pack my bags for San Francisco. Again, if you're going to be there, I'll see you there. And uh, hey, let's do this again next week. Take care.